Today's story going to be special one. It's a story of a person who made us cry out of laughter. With his witty gestures, it's none other than Mr. Bin. Rowan Sebastian Atkinson, known to many by his comic creation Mr. Bin, is a British actor, writer and comedian. In school he was bullied for his looks, and stuttering. And this made him very shy, and withdrawn. Therefore he had very few friends. His talent for drama was evident. His physics A-level teacher who said, in class he was very middle of the road. There was nothing outstanding about him. I didn't expect him to become a fantastic scientist, he was a quiet lad who walked his own path. But when he walked on stage he was exceptional. He studied electrical engineering at Newcastle University, then proceeded to do his master's at the Queen's College Oxford in 1975. It was during this time that he met Richard Curtis who later became a screenwriter that they worked on and executed sketches. He was also very active in different theatre clubs and dramatic society. This involvement made his sketches gain popularity in school. He was not really keen on comedy at first, he was doing it majorly as a hobby. Even though he was really good and unique, many executives in the mainstream were rejecting him. There was a file called the Rowan Atkinson Rejection File, which showed the powerful people who rejected him. They claimed he was talentless, another BBC executive said, pigs will be flying in formation before he became a star. When he finally got a chance to headline his own show, after shooting a pilot episode, he decided to not go ahead with it because he thought it was too soon, and he needed to grow his craft. He was offered what he wanted, regardless and he chose to work on a political satire show and that was how he started growing. In his show Not the Nine O'Clock News which was a political satire show gained huge audience that it paved way to similar shows in the United States such as Not Necessarily the News and later the famous Comedy Central's The Daily Show. He started doing feature films. It was during this time that he had options to expand his influence in the US, but when he had the opportunity to do so, critiques wrote bad reviews that it failed miserably and after just six performances they had to go back home. He however did not give up on expanding his influence beyond England. Mr. Bin, a character that he always had in him, the strange non-speaking character was what finally took over the world. The humor could transcend language and culture. With all this fame he has remained to be humble and avoided the public eye unlike most celebrities. Despite his successes, the fiercely private Atkinson insisted that he was not a funny man. I am, he said, essentially a rather quiet, dull person who just happens to be a performer. For his services to drama and charity, he was named a commander of the Order of the British Empire CBE, in 2013. Atkinson clearly is huge than just Mr. Bin. His story is one of showing that happiness is a choice, and that we should always look at our inner child and never give up regardless of the challenges we face.